What's something strange your body does that you know isn't quite right but also isn't quite serious enough to get checked out by a doctor? Well, every once in a while my eyes will go blurry and I can't see for a few seconds, I've learned to wait it out but it seriously freaked me out when I was younger but from what I know it's basically harmless. By the way I have 20-20 vision so it's not my eyesight getting worse over the years. When I cough, a spot in the middle of my back itches like mad. Also, once every few months I'll turn my head a certain way and it feels like something snaps in my head and a sensation of warmth spreads out in my skull. Probably not a tumor. I will sometimes catch myself mouthing, whispering the last sentence or phrase I spoke. Drives me insane at it, I'd like to self-diagnose this as palilalia. Seems to be exactly what I have. I have one piece of hair on my arm that is white and grows super fast and can get way longer than I've ever seen an arm hair be before. At totally random times it feels like my heart keeps skipping a beat, and I feel short of breath. It goes on for a few hours usually and then stops. I get rubber band headaches sometimes when I focus on doing a certain task. Sometimes the muscles in my hand will tense up and I have to use my other hand to unfold it. Sometimes, the inability to tell the difference between being nauseated and hungry. I get visual snow, that garbage is annoying but I don't know if there's a way to fix it. Sometimes I feel a very acute short pain in my chest, for like one tenth of a sec, it feels like it's in between the ribs, like they pinched the meat. It happens rarely but been happening for years. My body doesn't let me know when I need to pee until it hurts. Like I could go a whole day without peeing and then wake up the next morning with intense stomach cramps that go away after a solid 5 minute pee. I can't tell you how many times I've been like, have I peed today? Well you never know, and I sit down to discover that my bladder was full. Oh, edit, it's nice to know I'm not the only one. After reading comments I'm worried it might be some pinched nerves in my spine or something because I'm realizing I only began having trouble telling I need to pee after I fell and bruised my tailbone. I haven't had kids yet so it can't be because of a c-section. But I did get frequent UDs in middle school, around the same time I got my tailbone, not sure if it was before or after, that my mom never took me to get treated for. It lasted about 6 months and I would get so itchy that I'd scratch myself bloody. So it might be lasting darnage from that. I also have ovarian cysts so the person who suggested I get my uterus checked out it never occurred that they might be connected. My parents grew up as migrants so they never went to the hospital unless they were dying and that mindset has transferred over to us so they almost never take us to the doctors. I'm heading off to college in a few weeks though so I might stop by a free health clinic or something since I'll finally be able to. When I sit in a position for too long and then arch my back, my breastbone cracks into place. Not sure if it is the breastbone but definitely in my chest. I mean I got this checked out but apparently I have a good tumor. I get red marks on my body after I work out and sweat a lot, but they quickly disappear as soon as I cool down again. 100% normal until I work out again. It also feels itchy when the red marks are there, but the itch disappears with everything else eventually. I get this sharp pain in my butt that lasts a few seconds and it hurts so much. It makes me stand still and not want to move because it'll just become even worse lmao. It doesn't happen too often though. Not me, but my uncle. He's almost 70 now. Over the past few years he has gotten more and more grumpy. Yeah, nothing to worry about, his uncle was like that too. Something old people get. He never wanted to see a doctor, even if his cold didn't seem to go away after two months a few years ago. That was bronchitis, progressed to pneumonia. He still has a nasty cough. About a month ago my grandmother was celebrating her 93rd birthday with her children. My uncle just sat there, staring in the distance and when trying to talk he just mumbled. My aunt finally took charge and took him to the hospital, brain scan was done, turns out he had a lot of tiny brain bleeds, probably over the course of several years. Don't ignore personality changes, no matter how slowly they progress. I can't burp. I just get this weird gurgly sound as air bubbles come up through my throat if gas comes up that way. I can rip some mean butt though. I feel the need to close my eyes very tight about once every 5 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't make me look like a complete psycho. Sometimes I get this weird feeling like everything is going in slow-mo. In contrast, I feel like everything I do is at normal speed. 
My brain just wants me to do stuff and I feel this burst of energy that makes me feel great. However there is always a moment where I feel like I should keep moving because if I stop something bad will happen to me. Usually lasts a few minutes tops. When I manage to calm down everything goes back to normal. Has been happening since I'm a kid, 24 now and still happens every year. Every once in a while, while holding a stack of books or a box or similar shaped stuff where the tips of my fingers bent but the rest was straight, my fingers would lock in place so I'd have to move my arms and hands in a specific way to unlock them and move my fingers properly. My knees, legs, and butt always vibrate I don't know why I might have a phone inside me edit, a lot of people are suggesting magnesium and I trust it. Random twitchy muscles. Often enough to notice that it happens, yet infrequent enough not to be of any concern. About 60% of the time when I take a leak, my pee decides to shoot off at a near right angle. I'm a guy. No correlation with recent happy fun time etc. No way of knowing which direction, I live in fear of the day it finally goes vertical and I waterboard myself. I've always had this, and resigned myself to a life of being, the guy that sits down to pee, to avoid spraying the floor of the toilet. This thread made me feel like all bodies are weird and maybe I don't have a hidden tumor after all lol thank you. Sometimes I can't swallow food or water. It's like my throat just randomly closes and it isn't a food allergy either. I'm able to swallow if I quickly twist my neck to the side, it temporarily opens my throat. It doesn't happen often enough to warrant a doctor visit. Sometimes when I sneeze I get severe pain, stiffness, and pressure in my arms. Internet says it's a pinched nerve. It goes away after a few seconds. Never told a doctor about it, even though it's been happening since I was a kid. I don't need to pee, then I really need to pee, like if I don't get to a toilet ASAP I am gonna pee myself, there's no in between. My stomach makes so much noise, hungry, full, doesn't matter, just weird audible squeaky, whistly, gurgle noises all of the time. Like there have been times when my husband is across the room and he can hear my weird tummy talking. I also am very irregular and get horrible stomach cramps, dizziness, heart palpitations, and get overheated almost every time I go to the bathroom. This however is a bigger problem and I have a doctor's appointment next week. Every single time I swallow, my ears pop. The bags under my eyes get purple sometimes. I got a bit of a farmer's tan but the parts of my skin that are exposed to the sun are like an olive color. Some days I look as pale as a dead man but feel perfectly fine. My right testicle randomly hurts. I started balding at 16. Sometimes it feels like my heart skips a beat but that actually went away. I hear people arguing when I try to fall asleep. When I'm laying down my legs feel weird and I feel the urge to contract my muscles or IDK just rip them the fluff off. They don't hurt of anything they just feel weird. Also I get all kinds of weird feelings, twitches, on my brain that are hard to describe. I, well I don't think it's really a problem worth getting worried over, but it's something that I always thought wasn't really normal. I get this really weird feeling in my brain sometimes that's incredibly hard to describe which is honestly why I've never talked to anyone about it. It's like, a brain shiver? Like when you get the chills but it's only happening inside your skull and not the rest of your body. There's also a weird almost squeaky sound in my ears when it happens too. When I was little, I used to think it was my brain getting another wrinkle cause I learned something that made me smarter lmao. Edit, to clarify, there's no physical sensation that happens, no goosebumps or anything like that, chills are just the closest thing I could think of to compare it to. It's literally just a quick feeling in the middle of my brain that doesn't travel down my body or anything like that. Just a second or two and then it's over. Edit, I know it sounds similar to brain zaps people get when coming off antidepressants. And I'm assuming it feels the same way. But this has happened for as long as I can remember, W-A-A-A-A-A-Y before I ever took any medications for anything, and it still happens even now that I'm in stuff for anxiety. Edit, it's not ASMR. They're two completely different feelings. ASMR is a pleasant, skin tingly feeling. This is like someone poking my brain and it makes a squishy sound, or a momentary brain short circuit. It's not in any way a nice feeling or caused by the same stuff ASMR is. Stop p ming me saying it's just ASMR. This is one that previously happened and is solved as far as I'm concerned. 
For a couple years, every time I ran my dishwasher, my eyes got really dry. That makes no sense, right? It was a minor annoyance, but too ridiculous to say out loud, even to a doctor. Years later, I got diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome. My immune system mistakenly attacks my tear ducts and my eyes get really dry. Scientists think it's kicked in by an exposure to a toxin, like mold, that sends your immune system haywire. My old apartment was full of black mold in the walls. Every time I ran my dishwasher it got in there and wet the mold and made it worse. I'm so glad to figure out I wasn't just imagining things because I knew I wasn't. Edit to answer questions, this really blew up overnight. Yes, I'm female. How I got diagnosed is another story. I noticed weird things like I was breathing fine, but didn't seem to be getting oxygen. I even moved my computer next to an open window to try to get fresh air. Ultimately, I started getting pains like an ice pick stabbing me in the lungs, but they'd only last around one second and be gone. I kept seeing doctors and being misdiagnosed with pleurisy. Finally I was at one quick care and the doctor said my x-rays looked normal but a pulmonologist just happened to walk by and notice a nodule, so he pointed it out. Ultimately, I got blood tests that showed autoimmune. I had a lung biopsy that confirmed sarcoidosis, another house favorite, and the markers for Sjogren's, too. I had a few years of heavy steroids and am doing much better. I have 72% of my lungs left. There was a lot of scar tissue formed while it was active. My eyes and mouth get dry and I may get tear duct plugs eventually. My joints used to hurt but they have me on something that's helping that, too. I eat a plant-based diet and am very physically active at my job, I'm in constant motion there, so I suppose that helps, no, I don't live in that inner city hellhole anymore, smiley face.